right here is Queen T. I'm going to get to something else. I just want to get to this while, I, while it's on my mind. People for years have always acted like this is her afro or she had an afro. It's not a fucking afro. Most Egyptologists know this. Most uh, 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 um, folks, Egyptomaniacs know this because they study it. They just lie and act like it and play it off to you. It's a fucking headdress and a wig. It's not hair. You see right here, this used to be in your wrist. With these two, you see, the, with these two things, she's you can take this wig off, this headdress off. Queen T was not black. This is Queen T right here in the mummy. She has North African hair. She has straight hairy hair. It's a little curly, but she has straight hair. She does not have tightly coiled, woolly hair. They've been lying to you. This is Queen T's hair. She is not a woolly haired black African. She's a North African. Her affinities and DNA is of the same stock. The Levant, the Near East, Egypt, around in that area. They have been there for 30,000 years. Bourbon Street, bitch. They've been partying. And this is what she would kind of look like. With this same hair in person, but dead. A North African. Y'all don't know what North Africans look like after this time? Get a fucking map. Queen T did not have kinky, nappy hair. They lied to you. That is a headdress that she has in that picture, in this picture. And it's just on wood, so all you see is melanin, and you think it's black because somebody's melanated. 